Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am very happy to be able to participate in this webinar. I am from Guangzhou, China. My name is Yi Wang Feng, and I am the founder of Guangzhou City Vetiver Ecology and Technology Company. Since I learned about Vetiver in 1996, I think it's a magical plant that benefits mankind and can change the living environment of mankind. Therefore, my main focus is on the research, promotion, and application of Vetiver and its technology. I have 25 years of professional experience. Vetiver has been successfully used in southern China for more than 30 years, since it was introduced to China by Dick Grimshaw in the 1980s. The application area is between 99 degrees 07 minutes to 120 degrees 41 minutes east and 28 degrees 71 minutes to 37 degrees 44 minutes north. My scope application includes soil, water conservation, road landslides and landslides, river basin management, water resources protection, vegetation restoration of tailing ponds and quarries, and ecological management of garbage dumps and waste dumps. In recent years, more emphasis has been placed on domestic and livestock wastewater treatment, soil remediation, and biological control, and other aspects. In China, I have established standards regarding design and quality control for vertebrate technology and have an independent enterprise and technical team that includes a variety of professionals capable of conducting project survey, design, construction, budget, and final accounts and maintenance. The following pictures are some of the results of my application of Vetiver in China. Water Resources Protection of Drinking Water Reservoir Site Review After 5 Years Using Floating Island Technology to treat cyanobacteria blooms in drinking water reservoirs. Embankment protection of the coastline. Revisiting the sites after 14 years, currently under maintenance in winter. Application in domestic sewage treatment. Combined application of vetiver and aquatic plants. Multidisciplinary approaches achieve good ecological effects. Vetiver floating island in the ecological compound microcirculation technical solution. The overall landscape effect of the sewage treatment system. Vetiver root system growth after 90 days. Treatment of breeding wastewater in pig farms. The concentration of farming wastewater needs to be reduced first before using vetiver. Combined application of vetiver and microbial agents. Vetiver has a significant effect on reducing NH4, TN, and TP. More farms have adopted vetiver floating systems. In combination with flowers, vetiver system achieved good landscape effects. Protection of the drawdown zone in the pump storage power station. Landscape effect in winter. Application in the slope of the hydro power stations. Technical seminars for the geology and mining department of Guangdong province. Introducing vetiver on a hydraulic engineering conference. Future of Vetiver and this technology. Vetiver-based technology is a kind of low-cost, high-efficiency and green technology. In addition, Vetiver grass has highly additional economic value apart from the ecological application, so it is very suitable for promotion of Vetiver grass technology in developing countries. Vetiver can not only be used independently, but also can be used in combination with other plants, microbial strains, to solve more tricky ecological and environmental protection problems. Therefore, there is a very bright future for Vetiver grass technology. However, the development of Vetiver and its technology is still relatively slow. The main reasons are Governments at all levels have insufficient awareness and insufficient guidance and promotion efforts. The promotion of Vetiver and its technology requires combination of multiple disciplines and lacks technical talent. There is a lack of uniform technical standards and design and application specifications worldwide. There are too few opportunities for technical exchanges and professional training. Here, I am very glad to share my many years of experience and application cases with you. At last, I suggest, 
Organize more training or technical exchange meetings. Develop a global unified technical application standard as soon as possible. Provide professional technical guidance for applications in developing countries. The end. Thank you.